Hi all, it's David here from DP Computing. Today we've got an Asus laptop, which is a Model X54C. Uh, we're just going to pull it apart to show you what's inside and so forth. Just be wary, um, to please take anti-static precautions and this may damage, or following these steps may damage your machine or even um, void your warranty. Uh, just a word about this machine, as you'll probably see when you see the keyboard, um, the actual client actually punched the machine and the keyboard's got a bit of a dent in it and the screen's also slightly smashed. So I know the machine wasn't running Windows 8, so for all you Windows 8 haters out there, that's not the reason why he did it. And just a plug here now for my Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 tutorial. Um, they're both on the screen now, so if you want to learn about Windows 8 and how great it is, and also 8.1, please click the links. Now the first thing you do, this is the underside of the unit, is to remove the battery, which is here. I've got two clips. Um, just push them outwards, and then the battery, as you can see, comes out. Now we want to get into or um, remove this back panel here and there's two screws, one there and one there. Um, you may think there's a screw under that little um, rubber plug but no there isn't so don't bother removing that plug. Um, I'll just quickly remove these screws. Now a word of warning, um, oh, it's not warning just to know there's actually, I'm remove this one totally. Typical, it just doesn't want to come out nicely. Where's my little screwdriver? Um, as I said before, this machine has been damaged, so I may be doing things a bit rough. Just remember, take it easy if you're working on one of your own machines. So there's one screw there and one screw there. Um, just remove them. And here, one of my techs has already been in here and removed the, the memory, which is here. But normally there's a memory sim in there, and if you want to remove it, just pull those clips outwards, and the memory will pop out. Uh, just getting back to the screws, there's two types of screws you'll find. One is the longer type, which is here, and then up at the, for the hinges, there's two shorter screws. So just be careful and know where they all go back. So over here we've got the hard drive, memory, which is missing, and also the uh, Wi-Fi module. So if you want to remove the Wi-Fi module, there's just a little um, Phillips head screw there. Just unscrew that and then slot that out. And the hard drive is four extra screws. There's that one's been removed by taking off the top cover and there's one there, one there and one there. So there's three more screws we have to get out. So just bear with me while I unscrew it. And the one down here. Probably best as well f if you're unsure of doing things like this is not to use an electric screwdriver like this because um, you may thread the screws and not be able to get them back in or not be able to get them out. Now once those screws are removed there's a little tag here so we can just pull that to the side and out it pops. Okay so we've got a normal two and a half inch drive in a little caddy. There's four screws, one, two, three, four, just remove those screws and the hard drive will pop out so you can then replace that hard drive with a bigger one or if it's damaged, replace it with a newer one or even put in an SSD. Now what we want to do is remove or get to the um, innards of the computer and now there's a number of screws. We'll just go through them all and it'll take a little bit of time so just please bear with me. So the first one is here.
Now, as mentioned earlier, this is one of those shorter screws um, by the hinge there. The normal screws are a bit longer, so just take note of those two shorter screws. And this is the other shorter screw here. Also, as I'm, I'll show you in a second, there's a trick to getting the optical drive out, or a slight trick. You may think the optical drive can get removed by a screw under that little rubber grommet, but no, it's, that's not how you get it out. You just have to wait a few more minutes. I'm just checking to see if I've got all the screws out this side. From there, from there, from there. That's all done. So now what we have to do is um, go over and remove the actual keyboard. Now, as I mentioned before, um, this machine's been punched. You might be able to see a slight dent in the keys, keys there. And also, I'll just see if I can show you the screen itself. The screen is actually cracked there and there's cracks running throughout the screen. But anyway, we'll get the keyboard off. Now to get the keyboard off, you'll need like a small Phillips head screwdriver. And across the top, you've got a little tab, few tabs which you have to push upwards. So just push those tabs up. And as you can see, the keyboard is popping up. But before you just go yanking the keyboard out, <coughs> excuse me, you'll see there's a cable here. So just be careful with that cable. There's two ways you can sort of slightly pull it out and it comes out. Now, as I mentioned before with the CD drive, which is over here, there's another screw here. So that screw actually removes the CD drive. So once that screw is removed, you should be able to pull the CD or optical drive out. So there's the optical drive. So just that screw there under the keyboard. Now there's a couple of other screws. There's one more here and one under here. Now this one here is actually hidden slightly under a bit of tape or something, so just pull that tape away and you get to the screw and unscrew it. Now once the screws are all undone, you can get a little um, a flathead screwdriver under the side of the case and start prising it away. Uh, just be careful you don't do it too hard. If something doesn't seem to be moving quite right, you may have missed one of the screws. So just go back and check to see that all the screws are actually uh, removed. Because you don't want to be yanking it out when there's an actual screw still holding it all in. So just go, as I said, go around and... Okay, and the other th trick is, or other thing just to be wary of, is there's another two connectors here. Okay, so there's just some blue tabs. You can pick that up and pull the actual connectors out. So this top one here, which is, is the actual power, up to the power button, and this one's for the touchpad. So there we are, there we're actually inside the actual unit itself. So we've got the heatsink, the fan, and the CPU here. So um, that might be a bit dirty, you can give that a clean if you want. We've got a connector here for the USB, another USB, a video, network, and sound audio out. So that's the inside of this unit here. Um, you can actually remove um, the fans here there's a couple of screws there and there to remove, but um, um, I'll leave it there. I'll make a comeback with another video on this model with pulling it down a bit more, but at the moment I don't have the time. That, so thank you for watching and please visit our YouTube channel and subscribe. Um, the URL should be, or the link, just click on the link on the screen now. Um, we've also got some other laptop teardowns and stuff on there. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.